Hello guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I'm filming another empties video. If you guys haven't checked out my last empties video, I filmed it around the start of this year. I will link it up in the cards and also in the description box below if you guys want to go and check that out. I absolutely love filming empties videos. They're one of my favorite videos to like watch and film and I have another whole lot of products here to go through. I have it used up in the last, I'd say like eight months. I filmed my last one back at the start of December. So this is pretty much from the start of December. So let's get into all of these products. I might categorize them a little bit and we can do like hair care first and skincare, makeup, all of that type of jazz. But yeah, I wish that I had a little bit less than this. I feel like this is actually like quite a lot of waste. Okay, so I've kind of separated all of the stuff into categories. So let's start off with hair care. So I've got all of my hair care stuff just here i have a couple of the same products um which is my shampoo and conditioner i've just been using this range at the moment this is the ogx um shea soft and smooth shampoo and the conditioner as well so this is just the one that me and my sister have been using i think it's because it's silicon free i think it's also paraben free and just like all of the stuff free that you want especially for like curly hair and like hair with lots of volume so this is just the one that we've been using recently they don't sell it at Woolies anymore and I haven't been able to see it at Priceline so yeah I have like repurchased this but this was back when um, they were kind of going out of stock in Woolworths so yeah I really do like this one just because it's got like silicon free and it's just like all of that good stuff it doesn't make my hair really oily or like flat or anything so that's what I really really like about that um, shampoo and conditioner. I do also have another shampoo and conditioner in here, but this is from literally like the start of the year. I finished this like back in December. Um, this is the Bondi Boost. This was in my last empties video. I bought two sets, so I finally finished this one ages ago, literally months and months and months ago. I did really like this. I haven't repurchased it just because it is a little bit more on the pricier side, but it is a really good hair growth um, shampoo and conditioner. I've got two hairsprays here that I finished. This one is just the Schwarzkopf um, Extra Care Hair Styling Keratin Strength Hairspray. I did really like this one and I felt like it didn't dry out and crisp up my hair. Um, I just got this one from Woolworths and you can still get it from there. I think because it had a little bit more keratin and a little bit more nourishing, it was a lot nicer on my hair. And then this is just the one that I used up. This is so old. Literally, I found it in my um, bathroom drawers months ago. Um, this is just the Sun Silk Perfect Hold. This one isn't as good as this one, but I used it up anyway. I used up this Tresemme Keratin Smooth 7 Day Smooth System Heat Active Treatment. I think this was just like a um, heat protected. It was kind of like a gel, so I just like put it in my wet hair and then like blow dried and straightened my hair after. I did like this, but I haven't repurchased it. I have two of these De Lorenzo The Ends. I love this. I get this from my hairdresser. I don't know where you can find this. You might be able to find it at um, Hair House Warehouse. Don't quote me on that. But I love this. I put it in my hair when I want to have my hair curly. And I just think it like really seals and smooths my ends, um, which are very like heat damaged because I straighten my hair quite a lot. And I have naturally curly hair, so it's always dry. But yeah, I love this. And I've gone through so many of these, countless and countless of these. Me and my sister both use these religiously. So we definitely repurchased these ones. And then me and my sister also used up this Revita Foam, the Conditioning and Detangling Mousse. Love this. It's like a hydrating mousse and we just put it in our wet hair and like, I don't know, just like really really bounces up your curls it just gives your curls and your hair a little bit of moisture we also get this from our hairdresser so i'm not too sure if you can purchase this like on the market but i'm sure hair house warehouse or even priceline would have something similar i did finish up two tans these are two of my favorite tans um which have been replaced now that bondi sands has brought out new updated ones of both of these products so this one is the bondi sands aero tan this is just in the normal i think it's like the dark shade i do prefer prefer the ultra dark one though now but this one was my holy grail for ages i absolutely love the formula i love how quick it dries i love the color it is absolutely a stunning tan and it dries super super quick 
Then this one is the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam One Hour Express. They have changed the packaging on this one. This one is quite old. It's about a year old. I did also really like this one when it first came out, but since then they have got a, like an ultra dark one, I think, of this one, which I like even more. These two tans are one of my favorite tans, but they have been replaced by other Bondi Sands tans that are on the market now. So yeah, I definitely would repurchase these, but I do repurchase just different colors and different types of these tents. There is a little bit left in this one, but only probably like for enough for an arm. I did finish a moisturizer. This is just the Nivea Rich Moisturizing Moisturizer. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. It's super thick, super nourishing. I love doing this moisturizer the day after my tan because it just like locks in all of the moisture and makes sure I don't get all crusty and stuff. I love this one for winter also. Um, it's just a great rich moisturizer. It is very, very thick. So if you don't like thick, greasy moisturizers this one probably isn't going to be for you but for me i absolutely love it because i have super dry skin i did finish one body wash i do normally use soap but i have so many body washes that i need to kind of use them up this is just the body shop um it's actually like a halloween scent so it's just the vanilla and pumpkin i did like this but i like other body washes of from the body shop better this one was kind of like gluggy it was like really like thick and gluggy um but yeah i have other scents that i much prefer we might move on to skincare now. Skincare is one of my favorite things. I'm so obsessed with it at the moment. So I have finished two of these Sukin Blemish Control Clearing Facial Wash. This is like my favorite facial wash and cleanser at the moment. Um, I think it's what helped me clear up my skin. Um, I love it. It smells a lot like, um, like tea tree oil and eucalyptus. I think it's got like those types of ingredients in there, but... Yeah, it's for like blemish um, prone skin. I don't have blemish prone skin, but I just like this. It helps me feel refreshed and I just use it on like a little silicon head kind of thing. I absolutely love it. You can pick this up from Chemist Warehouse. I did finish a simple toner. This is my favorite toner. I have actually gone through like a second one of these, I think, and I'm so close to finishing my next one, but I love this toner. It doesn't dry out my skin. It's just so simple and soothes my skin. My sister loves it as well, so it's great for sensitive skin. I absolutely love this, and I will 110% be repurchasing this one. I do have two exfoliating scrubs here that I finished up. This is the Sukin Rose Hip Rejuvenating Facial Scrub. This one has like walnut shells in it. I've recently been obsessed with skincare by Hiram and he's like don't use scrubs they're super bad for your skin so I did finish like most of this and then I used the rest of it like on my body but it is a nice gentle scrub but I feel like cleansing with the silicon head is so much better than scrubs um, because apparently they like tug on your skin and stuff like that so I won't be repurchasing this one um, just because I'm not into the scrub life anymore and then I did also finish this Sukin Super Greens Detoxifying Facial Scrub this was one of my favorite scrubs but also I haven't really been using scrubs on my skin so I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this probably not because yeah, I don't really use them and I'm kind of more into chemical exfoliating. I've been researching a lot about that recently and just seeing so much on TikTok and stuff. So yeah, definitely do your research, but I don't think that I will be repurchasing this one, even though it is one of my favorite scrubs. I did finish three Lush face masks. I did finish most of these and then they kind of got a little bit dried out because I forgot about them in my fridge. But these are like the fresh face masks. So I have the Brazen Honey, the Catastrophic Cosmetic, and then the Cosmetic cosmetic warrior i did really like all three of these but i don't know if i'm going to repurchase them i think when you take in five containers from lush you get a free fresh face mask so i'm not too sure which one i'm going to pick up but yeah these are really good but i just use other face masks at the moment because i have so many and i kind of forget about these because they're in my fridge i didn't finish this but i am throwing this out but i have repurchased this in a bigger size this is the asano superfoods kale rejuvenating night cream it just kind of like crustied up and i couldn't really use a lot of it but i did re i did like it when i first used it and then i don't think i put the lid on properly but i have repurchased this in a bigger size and i do really love it it's super thick and hydrating and i just love it when my skin is super super dry i finished up the sukin rose hip oil i love this rose hip oil it's super dark kind of like put me off guard the first time i used it but yeah i will be repurchasing this one i'm just trying to use up some other skincare that i have like almost finished but yeah Love this, love rosehip oil. It has been the one thing that has helped me clear my acne scarring and just my pimple scars and stuff like that. It's so great. If you don't use it, you should definitely try it out. I am throwing away this Mario Badescu rosehip nourishing oil because it doesn't have rosehip oil in it. Or it does, but it's like the second ingredient and it's got a whole lot of other stuff. Whereas this one, the only ingredient is 
rosehip oil, whereas this one isn't. And we all know that Mario Badescu is cancelled now, so yeah, my sister bought this ages ago because we love rosehip oil, but obviously didn't look at the ingredients, so I'm just going to throw it out. I don't want to put it on my face. And I did finish this Asano Superfoods Turmeric Illuminating Facial Oil. This is only like a sample size. I got like a sample pack of the stuff, and I did really enjoy this, but I don't know where you can pick this up from now because they don't sell it at Woolies anymore. I finished three toothpastes. I've actually finished a lot more, but my mum just throws them out. So yeah, this is my favorite toothpaste. This is the Colgate Optic White. I do want to try out some more natural toothpaste. So when I finish the tub that I'm going through at the moment, I am going to move on to like a more natural toothpaste. Apparently it's better for the environment, better for your teeth. Um, and yeah, so I finished up these ones. I finished up this little mini deodorant and then a big size of this one. This is just the Rex Owner Sexy Boutique um deodorant i don't know if i'm going to repurchase this just because it's got aluminium in it and i have new deodorants that i really want to try from native if you guys haven't seen that in one of my last vlogs but yeah don't think i'm going to repurchase these just because they've got aluminium in them i finished up the dove summer magnolia and crisp apple scent also i don't think i'll be repurchasing this one and then the last two deodorants i have are this rexona clinical protection and then this dove go fresh pomegranate one also, I don't think that I'll be repurchasing these. These are like the cream types. This is what I like applying right underneath my underarms. But I since have bought and received um, the native deodorants that I'm really, really excited to try out. I'm just finishing up my last one of this and then I am going to switch over to a more natural deodorant with no aluminium in it. I finished the Fox Tan Rapid Mist back in summer. I love this tanning mist. It's so great. It makes me super brown and super like deep brown. I definitely recommend if you guys love to tan out in the sun make sure you put SPF underneath though I am starting to get a lot more protective of my skin and applying SPF on my face and my body and stuff so yeah love this it it, ha it makes you so tan in some months honestly my holy grail a couple of random things to show you guys I finished up another collagen hair skin and nails um, little pouch I finished up some vitamin C tablets and some women's multivitamins I love just you know whatever's on sale and just making me good on the inside as well as the outside did finish up two lavender oils i love putting this into my diffuser before i go to bed it just helps me sleep it's amazing and i did finish up a candle which is just a vanilla caramel candle i think i got this from the kabucha markets and i loved burning this i love anything vanilla caramel so great right last little section we're on to makeup i did finish up two setting sprays this one is just the morphe continuous setting mist i love this it's one of the best on the market and i have repurchased it i love how continuous it is i don't like spraying it it's such a fine mist you guys have probably heard enough about this product and then i finished up the urban decay chill makeup setting spray this is in such an old packaging i got this like four years ago and i just was trying to finish it up time and time again so yeah finally finished it up there's nothing left in there um, I won't be repurchasing this one because I have so many of these and I love this one more. Finished up a Daiso makeup brush cleanser and a puff detergent. You guys know my thoughts on these. I love them and I will 100% be repurchasing these. I have actually repurchased them. They're such a great alternative to the Beauty Blender cleansers and they're so much, they're literally like a tenth of the price. They're amazing. And I did finish up this little spray mist of the Evian facial spray. Um, I have the full size of this. Finished up two lip balms. This one is just the Cordes um aloe lip balm and then this is just a chapstick um strawberry i don't think i'll be repurchasing these just because i have other favorite lip balms that i prefer a lot more this next product is a little bit ratchet but this one is the astralis banana powder i love this banana powder it's one of the best out there i have repurchased it this is literally so old um and so crusty so i repurchased it finally when it went on sale um it's honestly so great and so cheap. Finished up two brow mascaras. This one is just the Essence Make Me Brow. I love this one because it's such a cheap alternative for this one. But this one is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I much prefer this one just because of the price. I'm not willing to spend $30 on one of these when I can literally spend $7 on one of these. Both are just as great as each other though. I did also finish up This Doesn't Have a Lid, hence why I'm throwing it out. This is the um, ColourPop brow pomade i love this this is one of my favorite pomades i wish i didn't lose the lid but i lost the lid and i'm actually devastated so i do want to repurchase this i just have other products that i need to use up first because i literally have like five brow pomades i'm like 
one person does not need this much um this is in the shade cool cocoa and it's like perfect for my like shade of hair i love this product and i will repurchase it once i finish all my other stuff then the last two products are the tarte lights camera lashes this is in one of their unicorn um packaging i love this i didn't want to finish this up because i just love the packaging but that's really obsessive of me and this is a great mascara i think i actually used up one of these in my last one. Oh, and it's also broken but yeah i love the wand of this i don't really use mascara anymore but um when i do on my bottom lashes i love this one and then last product which is one of my favorites and holy grails of all time this is the nyx um eyebrow pencil and it's just like a micro eyebrow pencil there's nothing left but it is one of the best it's such a great dupe for the anastasia gimme brow and it's literally like a third of the price so i have already repurchased this and i will continue to repurchase this for the length of my time so that is a completed video i hope that you guys enjoyed that i love watching empties videos i love finishing up products i feel so accomplished when i finish up a product don't you guys think hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll hopefully see you guys in the next one don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye